So this is a quick video showing how to install the Melda Production audio plugins and synthesizer plugins, especially things like MXXX and M Sound Factory, um, using their download system. So you go to meldaproduction.com forward slash downloads. You choose your operating system. In my case, it was Mac. I have the installer already downloaded. So it does a quick cleanup and searches for your previously existing versions. You agree to the license terms, if you so choose, which versions and what additional instruments should be included. And from this screen, you would select whatever bundle or whatever effects you're looking for. And to my knowledge, there's a trial version for all these plugins, so it's worth checking them all out. Uh, probably you wouldn't do this in small batches because they're very sophisticated plugins. Um, and in my case, I have the incomplete bundle, and um, also I would have the Empower Synth. And you can also deselect all this or select all as needed, and just install individual plugins as desired. So if you wanted to install just the Empower Synth, you would do like this just Imzal Factory um, or just MXXX. You would use next from here and you would go through the install. What happens is you would open up your digital audio workstation and you it would run through all of the various plugins and scan them all. It could take quite some time if you install a bundle because they have over a hundred plugins. Um, however, eventually it should pass the plugins and then you would be prompted with the plugin itself once you load one up. And from there, if you have something that plays samples, um, you would want to download additional packs for that system. And to do that, we would go to download and install products. And it would show whatever products would be available. And from there, you would choose to install those products. One additional very important thing is how to import presets or how to import various patches. So to do this, we would open up the browser. We would go to the global browser of the system we're using and that we want to import presets to. Uh, we would choose import. And from there, we could choose whatever files are available for import. And then we'd import the files into the system and they would be available in your browser or from this system. Additionally, you can add a folder to better organize things so that when you import, you know just exactly what you're importing and you can go back to that folder and reference those imported materials. So I'll show an example of how we would import things. Go to the folder where you have the file. Choose a file. Um, if, for instance, presets may be loaded in batches, so we could install the entire batch at once, depending on how the preset was created. Click OK. It will ask you if you want to add or replace the contents, and so we would choose one of those options, and it will add the preset to the browser. An active preset which contains the entire engine of a system, um, you would want to go to the folder that stores active presets. And to do that, we would go to this location on the Mac, and that is my users section, as opposed to the shared section. And I would choose wherever my active presets are. In my case, I have my active presets already preloaded uh, so that I can get to them quickly and download them or whatever I need to do. And so what we would do is we would download the active preset from a given source and then we would simply drag and drop the active preset into the active preset folder, which in my case is located here. So users, Mac, library, application support, model production, MXXXX, active presets. And once you do that, the preset would show up in the MXXX browser, which is located here.